Here's a quick way to use and combine different powers of GPTs to actually recreate your photos with AI. All right. This one's going to be kind of fun, I think. So uh, what's going on, y'all? My name's Jordan. I'm the host of Everyday AI. So we're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping people like you and me learn Gen AI and how we can all leverage it. So please subscribe to this channel. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you like, what you don't. But also, please go to youreverydayai.com and sign up for the free daily newsletter. So each and every day, we do what's called an AI in five, where about in five minutes, we teach you... Uh, something new in AI. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into the GPT store. So to do this, you need a chat GPT plus account, and then you're just going to click on the explore GPTs button right there. So there's a little, uh, they're calling this a store. I wouldn't say it's a store. It's just really a directory that kind of works. Uh, we actually, I think, uh, built a, a more useful uh, directory on our website uh, with way more uh, GPTs that you can access. So just let me know in the comments if you want access to that. But let's go ahead and take a look at this one that helps you kind of recreate and uh, you know duplicate uh, actually some of your images to kind of clone them. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So this is the image copy machine GPT. So uh, in short, what this does is you upload uh, your uh, an image. It uses GPT's vision capabilities, right? Where GPT can actually kind of uh, look at, uh, so to speak, images. And then it uses, uh, essentially, uh, it creates a prompt based on your images and then creates a new variation of your image. So let's just go ahead and give it a try. So I just have a, uh, a couple just random photos I found that I took a while ago, actually, just on, you know, some, some different, uh, vacations. So, uh, you don't, you can describe it if you want. I'm just going to say, create a variation of this image. And for some reason it's taken a second here to upload, which is not normal, obviously. Hey, when you go to do this live, that's why I do these live, right? This isn't, uh, this isn't edited. So we're, uh, looks like uh, chat GPT is having some issues. So let's see if we can't just do a, do a little refresh here uh, and give this another try. So I'm going to say create a variation of this image. I obviously need to upload it first. There we go. All right, so this is just a random photo that I took. Uh, I don't even remember where this was. Uh, I just saw it saw it on my computer. There's kind of like a rainbow and a half going on there. Uh, so I wanted to take a pretty you know, simple photo, but something with a little bit of color uh, and see how this GPT did. Uh, we're actually building our own version of this GPT, uh, which I think will perform a little better maybe than even some of the ones I tried, but still uh, this one, this one does a pretty good job. Uh, so let's go ahead and look and you'll see what I, what I mean. Uh, but I, I, I mean, this is also indicative of, of Dolly and how Dolly works versus if you use something else like mid journey. So this is, this obviously looks extremely, you know, fake. It looks AI. It looks, uh, you know, uh, AI generated, right? So I'm going to say, uh, please, uh, I'm going to just, the good thing that people don't really know about working within Dolly within ChatGPT is you can just have a conversation with it. I'm going to say, talk to it like a human. I'm going to say that looks too fake and AI generated. I'm going to say, please try again and keep it looking more like the original. I'm going to say, uh, in the form of a, uh, real, life stock photo. So I've talked about this on the show before, for whatever reason, sometimes when you use like the word stock photo, if you are just looking for something that looks less like AI and painted and computer generated, sometimes if you use words like stock photo, you know, photorealistic, uh, sometimes you'll get slightly better results. Again, I don't know the, uh, the details of how this, uh, custom GPT is configured. Um, so maybe it intentionally tries to bring you a little more vivid, a little more color, uh, but you can just kind of have that conversation with it. So uh, didn't really do any better here. It just made a more uh, cinematic double rainbow. So, uh, you know, hit or miss on this one, but still, you know, pretty, pretty useful, uh, I think. So let's go ahead and uh, load in one more. I'm going to say, uh, I'm so this time I'm going to go the first time. I'm going to say, uh, please, replicate this image. And I'm going to say focusing on making it look photo realistic, uh, like a stock photo. I'll just say from Unsplash. We'll just say that. We'll even throw the name of a stock image company. 
All right, so let's see if that helps. So again, this image, uh, you know, I think this is from Iceland when I went to um, Iceland a couple of years ago with my wife. So we'll see how well it does at reproducing uh, this one, especially when I give it uh, some some uh, prompts on making it look more photorealistic, like a stock photo. I'm guessing uh, just this is, again, indicative of Dolly, especially when you're using Dolly within uh, Chad GPT. Uh, it does usually give you some overly vivid, very colorful. So if that's your vibe you're going for, I think this is great. Uh, if not, yeah, you're probably going to get some things that look a little too computer generated. So uh, this one, you know, so I think, I think this one did a slightly better job. So obviously, this still looks very AI uh, image generated. Uh, but you know, I think it did a decent-ish, you know, de decent enough job, you know, got the main elements, got the similar colors, you know, it looks like in here, there's, I don't know, some, some mountains, some lights, maybe a small city in the background with some water there. And it looks like it actually got most of the elements, but again, very, uh, very computer uh, generated. I'm going to try one more time. I'm going to say that looks too much like an AI generated computer image. Please try again. All right. So We'll wrap it up at this one. We're just going to give this one one more try to see if it can give us something a little more realistic. So let's talk about why you might use this. Well, let's just say as an example, you have a blog post and you have one good photo for the blog post, um, but you're like, oh man, I wish we would have gotten more, right? So here's an example. You can go in and just actually just create different variations of your base image and then hopefully get multiple image kind of in the same style or, you know, that can all work with each other. Uh, also, I mean, another reason, let's be honest. It, can be kind of fun, you know, can be kind of fun to take photos maybe you forgot about or, um, you know, photos that, again, maybe you only took one photo on the trip and you want to see other things, you know, similar, you know, or maybe see a photo you took, but from a different angle, from a different perspective. Uh, so GPTs like this, I think are kind of fun, um, but but there there are some real, you know, creative business use cases as well. All right. So Kind of, kind of did more or less the same thing. Still looks very heavy on the AI. That's actually one of the things that we're working on uh, in our own kind of version of this. There's, you know, honestly, there's there's hundreds of the, of, of these uh, kind of image uh, duplication GPTs. This is just one that's, um, you know, it's pretty good. It's it's, uh, it's kind of trending on the the, the Dolly category uh, on the GPT store. So that's why I thought I'd do a quick review of it. So it does a good job. We're working on one. It is it is kind of difficult to get something that is a little more photorealistic, but uh, still a GPT worth checking out. So if this was helpful, I hope it was. Please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that newsletter. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Appreciate y'all.